Hi everyone, I'm Christina and welcome to this fresh episode of Street Heaters. We have a lot of fast cars and fun stuff for you this week. From our studios here at Ace Electronics in Pittsburgh, it's time to heat it up. Street Heaters, right here, right now, on Fox Sports Net. It's time to Welcome to another episode of Street Heaters. This is your host, Kevin Popovich, and this week we've got something just a little different. Usually we're on the street, this week we're on the road to Charleston, West Virginia to join the good people from Mini Cooper, showing off the new Mini Cooper GP. They started in California, they're gonna end up in Connecticut, and today we're on the road to go see what it's all about. Jump in, let's go for a ride. Jump in, let's go. One of the highlights of Mini Takes the States is the car that you see behind me and the man standing next to me. This is Fireball Tim, and this is apparently the fastest Mini Cooper in the world. Absolutely. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. All right, now, we've heard a lot about the car. You're going to take some time, give us a little bit of background about who you guys are, what you've done with the car, and then he was going to show us some of the technical specs, right? Right, exactly. All right, so how did you get started with this project? Well, uh, Mini USA came to us. Uh, my background and I designed movie cars, and they said they wanted to do something truly unique with the Mini platform. Uh, since we all drove minis, we felt it was uh, you know, a cohesive bond. It was something that we could certainly do. Uh, we came up together to do a, uh, a mini in a way that, uh, that you would no never normally see a mini. Yeah, and that's what we're seeing as we look at the car. I mean, we've seen spoilers, we've seen nice wheels, we've seen some graphics, but we haven't seen anything like this. What was the impetus for the creative on this car? Well, the thing is, what, you know, what we do is fairly unique, and we, we try to apply you know, movie car uh, mindset into something that's, that's you know, something that's normally a road racer. We decided to put a Mini on a drag strip. I thought it would be very unique. And uh, we're going to grow from this point on. All right, can we take a quick tour around and kind of sure. give us the highlights of what you guys did? Sure, absolutely. Uh, this is called the M600 Flamethrower. And uh, it will shoot flames, so you don't want to walk around the backside of it. But essentially, the car is around 2,100 pounds. It's about 600 horsepower at this point. Uh, it's all turbo, whereas originally it was uh, twin charged, turbo and uh, supercharger. Uh, so on this next pass, we're actually taking it with Mini USA on this, this huge Mini Texas States event, uh, along with all the great new GPs. And we're taking it to English Town, we're going to race it there, um, and we plan on breaking into the 10 second barrier. Well, it's, it's a hell of a car, and let's get Hubie to show us what's underneath. Great, fantastic. Uh, this is Hubie Fu, he's head of performance and my partner for Fireball Racing. How you Hubie, how are you today? Great, great. Uh, hey, we've heard an awful lot about the car, we'd love to see what you've done to it. Sure, well this is uh, pretty exciting. The car came about as a partnership between Fireball Racing and Mini USA, and the idea was to create a Mini that could be put in different venues to show off the flexibility of the chassis and the platform. So what we did here was we created a car that we're now using for drag racing. And what we did here was we created a situation where we have the 1.6 liter power plant that was originally in here. We did some slight modifications to bump up the power a little bit. You know? Yeah, most of the things here do not look like they are dealer optional. No, this is one of those things where uh, you bring this to the dealer, he's going to have a heart attack. You know what I mean? We did some modifications. It's a uh, full turbocharged motor now. We took off the factory supercharger, but it uh, makes almost uh, 600 horsepower now. So that would void the warranty. It sure would, you know. <laughs> but actually, uh, we were sort of space limited, but the idea was, you know, to take advantage of what was in here to design and really enhance and work around it. So we had to get a little creative with the piping and finding little nooks and crannies to fit the front mount intercooler and the bigger plenum and the turbo, but it all fits in such a nice, great package that uh, it almost looks uh, factory. Yeah, almost. Except for the really huge pipe sticking out of it. Sure, sure. Well, okay, yeah. now, now this is what you did under the hood. Uh, what else have you done to the suspension, to the wheels, to the frame? Well, the, the car is still basically a unibody, so the idea was we really wanted uh, not to take it so far that it'd be a dedicated dragster, so um, it has full road race suspension. I mean, this is one of those situations where if we took off the slicks, obviously this is front wheel drive racing, so you got the big slicks up front and the skinnies in back, but if you put on a, a set of road race wheels and tires, I mean, you could take this to local autocross or any of those uh, local events, and it'd be a, 
probably the, the world's quickest road race car. So. Can we take a look on the inside? Yeah, sure. All right, Hubie, show us what's not inside. <laughs> well, what's not inside, obviously, is the interior. We took out as much of uh, what we call the normal uh, creature comfort, amenity type things in there. Paneling is removed. Obviously, uh, things under the dash, uh, heater core, AC guns, things like that. So we took out as much where we can uh, lose some weight, obviously. You know, make it sort of a, a race type interior. I mean, obviously when you're racing, weight is a big factor. It's either you make more power or you lose some weight. So uh, we kept obviously most of the interior intact. Uh, it has a six point cage. Uh, it's got a nitrous bottle in there and the uh, fire extinguisher system obviously for safety. But uh, pretty much, you know, other than the lightweight composite doors and the Lexan windows, uh, this is pretty much uh, what a uh, factory mini would look like when you pull out the interior. Except for the big NOS tank in the Except front. Except for the big NOS tank, sure. <laughs> now tell me about the exhaust. Well, it's a custom three-inch exhaust we designed, obviously, to help the efficiency and get all the horsepower out of the motor. Your neighbors are not going to like you. No, not really. But, uh, yeah. Well, plenty of room for the groceries, a uh, frappuccino. Where's the radio? Uh, we don't need a radio. We just want to hear the sound of the engine. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Stay tuned. We have more coming from Mini Takes the States and the infamous Fireball Tim coming up next. So as I mentioned before, I'm Fireball Tim. I design movie cars. I've done about 50 films, everything from Jurassic Park to Batman to a lot of different things. And inside our trailer here is kind of a show trailer. So I come in and uh, I uh, show a couple of cars I've done. Here's one for Son of the Mask, which was pretty cool. I had a good time with that. Here's one from Escape from L.A. Here's a whole list of uh, cars that we've done. I'm pretty proud of this one specifically. This is actually my personal ride. This is the Mach 3 Mini Cooper. Pretty awesome car. And uh, gone in 60 seconds. I've done uh, several cars for Monster Garage, which is pretty ha pretty pa proud of. Uh, this is the flying car, all season finale cars. And over on this side, we're kind of proud because uh, we're launching the first ever automotive attraction. It's called the Fireball Studio Shop. So you get a chance to learn about tuning your cars and hanging out and having a good time. And uh, the rest of it's kind of a mess. I'd love to show you, but we got limited editions. We got uh, all kinds of mini stuff happening, and uh, we're having a blast. Well, thanks for the tour of the trailer. Uh, it, it, more than I can say about any of these vehicles is damn things are, are, are very creative and, and innovative, and uh, we look forward to seeing more of your work. I appreciate that. Thanks. Right? Make sure you check it out at firebald.com. All right, now the main reason we came to Mini Takes the States in Charleston, West Virginia, is to check out this car. It's the new Mini Cooper GP. Now, what can you tell us about the GP that most people don't know right out of the gate? It's all about what's out of the hood, and with this car, it's no exceptions. It's got 150 mile an hour top speed. Uh, it produces uh, 214 horsepower. And the way that it does that is it has a, an uprated supercharger with a, uh, a smaller diameter pulley. It has uh, colder firing plugs. It has uh, higher flow fuel injectors. So all in all, there's been a lot of modifications under the hood for this special package that gets us to that 214 number. So the special edition really is a special edition. If you want a GP, you've got to buy a GP. Absolutely, and at 31000 and only 415 that will be available, it's going to be a real exclusive car. All right, now some people th may think that Charleston is sleepy, not this morning. we got minis to the left of us, minis to the right of us, and all of them are heading on for the rest of the Mini Takes the Stage trip. My name is Kevin Popovich. You're watching Street Heaters. We'll be right back. You know some maniacs, this is Hulk Hogan, the greatest of all time. This is my main squeeze, Linda Hogan, and you're watching Street Heaters. So what you gonna do, brother, when the largest arms in the world, Linda Hogan, with the biggest gimmicks in the world, and Street Heaters runs wild on you? What you gonna do, Street Heaters? I'm down to Ace Electronics. It's all the Street Heaters right now. Hey, everyone. That's it for today. Thanks so much for joining us this week. I can't wait to see you guys again, same place, same time, next week. I'm rolling out of here, but before I do, I just want to remind you to check out StreetHeaters.com. Lots of great stuff online. I'm taking one of these rides from Ace Electronics home with me tonight. See you on the streets. Sweet little girl.